Today is a first alert weather day. 516 on your Wednesday morning. We've been focusing on this day for the threat of locally heavy rainfall, maybe leading to some flash flooding as we see continuing rainfall totals start to pile up not only this morning, but also into the afternoon and evening hours. You will hear some rumbles of thunder, but I just want to let you know we are not anticipating any severe weather. Usually you correlate first solar weather day with the threat of damaging wind gusts and tornadoes. That is not the case. This is strictly for a heavy rain and flood threat, but that doesn't make it any less serious. This is going to be an ongoing event today. Starting this morning for the morning commute, we've got our Jasmine Cornell out on the roadways in the 48 storm tracker, and she's tracking uh, empty roadways, but very wet ones at that. Uh, we last checked in. You could really hear the rainfall pounding the roof and the windshield of the 48 storm tracker, but some heavier pockets of rain now moving into parts of southwest Morgan County. We've got some heavier rain moving just out of the Florence area, tracking to the northeast, also there into Franklin County. And we'll take a closer look here. It's going to be a pretty radar heavy newscast as far as this goes. And you can always track all of this right there on your WAFF 48 weather app. Of course, if any flash flood warnings are issued, you get it right there to your phone. Make sure you've got your settings on for that. But out to speak to Decatur, Russellville and Florence again, tracking along Highway 72. It's going to be a difficult commute. Not just this morning for the kids heading out to the bus stop and the bus drivers on the roadways. Just please everyone slow down. Use caution. The heavier rainfall totals will start to see some ponding and puddles forming on the roadways. So maybe allow 5, 10, maybe even 15 extra minutes before you normally leave for work and school and head out a little bit earlier than that. But Fayetteville, the heavier rain now tracking off to the northeast. Out the door forecast, we do have a flash flood watch for all counties. This goes through midnight tonight. Heavy rain in the forecast and it will be widespread. An interesting thing that we'll see on the model data. Initially, we thought the heaviest rainfall totals would be into northwest Alabama. Well, actually, the way things have kind of oriented themselves overnight, the heavier rain will now be into north central, northeast Alabama and parts of middle Tennessee. Probably thinking two to three inches here along and east of I-65, one to two along and west of I-65 because the heavier bands of rain, that moisture will just continue to stream in. We'll hear some embedded rumbles of thunder with this, but really it's the slow moving threat of storms that will produce the higher rainfall totals and an increased risk of seeing some flash flooding as we head through the afternoon and evening. This is eight o'clock. Notice we finally see some drier skies to our west. It all moves out overnight by 2 a.m. Tomorrow morning, our temperatures will be in the upper 30s to low 40s. A sunny and dry end to the week. That's right, sunshine coming our way. But look at our temperatures, a whole lot colder both in the afternoon 